Guys, hey, welcome back. Carter Fitz be tripping. We're gonna do a fun one tonight. The 6800 non-XT setup with the power meter. Now this measures 12 volt rail, which is what the GPU setting here is, which are those 12 volt rails there. Those plug into here, which are being fed from the power supply on the computer, which is an 850 RGB thermal take gold power supply. This is a typical mining rig motherboard. This is the Gigabyte GAH110D. 3A. So that's a six GPU mining rig. This test bench is to mimic a, like a six card rig. That's four gigs of RAM and that is a G4400 Intel processor. So this test bench is set up like you would normally have with a mining. That way we're talking apples to apples when we're talking about mining against other stuff. The driver that we got tonight on this a little dirty there, is 20.11.3, which is the latest driver that's out there. We're gonna test Phoenix Miner 5.3B. I will refresh this test after we get some more miners where we can try Kapow and a few of the other Equihash variants, uh, Beam, Grin, those sorts of things. We'll come back to it. But the main thing tonight is to make sure what kind of load we get from stock settings this is really indicative of if you're gonna have, if you run into a handful of these or you can't find any other cards and then these are what you end up picking up, what kind of load do you put on the actual riser to know if you're gonna be burning them up or not? Because these things can draw a lot of power if they're not dialed back down. So tonight is to identify where the power, when we're talking full TDP is coming from. Is it coming from the 12 volt rel? Are we getting 70, 80 watts coming from the riser? That's the point of this video, to make sure how much load is being pulled from the riser on various algorithms. So, let's, without further ado, also have Hardware Info 64, the latest beta version, to monitor what we can from GPU hotspots, compute draw, all of those sorts of things. That way we have some of the metrics there, not just the uh, core voltages here that we're looking at. And as we can see this this car just idling as it's switching through this just even the the driver software you can see it's popping between four watts and 16 watts on the 12 volt rail at idle and we're setting it about three three to seven watts on the actual riser pool so you know we're you know we're already talking 25 watts just idle when there's just something going on the screen there okay let's go ahead and get this started again the settings for this card are full stock you guys can see here 6800 all stock settings we'll go to tuning tuning is all automatic that's our first test and we're going to go ahead and kick off the miner here now this will be eth all base settings and as we see that start to kick in the fans are starting to spin up we're looking at a gpu riser draw right out of the gate already at 57.2 watts the card's sitting at about 58 mega hash let's take a look at the 12 volt rel 12 volt rel is pulling about 130 watts so that's the 57 plus the 130 and that's your total out of the box if this thing's running basic stock settings that's what you guys are looking at 132 and 58 so that's almost 60 watts there you're talking almost 200 watts total on the card right now and you can see right here this is the full system full systems using about 240 watts which makes sense because this system idles around 34 to 40 watts so we're right we're right lined up here and as that's going let's take a look here at our hardware info 64. you can see the hot spot getting about 76 c without any other adjustments here you can see the curve the amp pulls there you can see where the memory controller utilization is at 99 percent and we're really hitting that compute one. Let's take a look now at this GPU. If we take down the core total megahertz and we bring down the voltages with the core and get this set up with a bump in the memory performance on top of that. Let's see what we can draw that down to, pull that power down and see if we can get a kick up on the mega hash side. All right, so now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go into a manual setup here and we're gonna enable all of this fun adjustments here. We're gonna take this down to about 1800, 1789 it is. And we're gonna pull this way down, all the way down to 793. So we're gonna take that all the way down. That's about 1700 and some change. VRAM tuning, we're gonna put this on fast timing and we're gonna change this even further we're going to scroll down once that enablement's there. We're going to take this all the way to the top here. We're going to come into the power tuning here. We're going to drop this down to minus five. 
We'll bring the fan curve up just a bit and we're gonna enable that. Now it's gonna give us a little flicker there. And now we're gonna come back in and we're gonna check all of our settings with ETH again. You can see the DAG loading there with those adjustments. And right away we're seeing on the riser, we've knocked that down by almost 20 watts on the riser. We're at 44 there. Let's take a look at the GPU voltage. And now we're at 101 on the GPU. 101 watts, 102 as it's starting to spin the fans up. Let's go back to the riser. Riser snap smacks back down to 44. So we're at a 144 on the GPU itself. We're just over 60.8 mega hash right now here as it's leveling itself out here. And we're at 180 watts on the full system here. Now we're gonna let that auto tune for a second. Check the settings here after a minute because sometimes it takes a little bit for the GPU to spin up and really get settled in, especially with using Phoenix Miner. Phoenix Miner does an auto tuning. Let's take a look at hardware info while we're waiting for that to come up. And you can see we dropped down those totals. So we had a maximum before of 77. And right now we're at about, we knocked off about 10 on the GPU hotspot. So 10 Celsius has been knocked off just by dropping that. And the total there, so you can see the maximum before, we're at 67 on the GPU core temperature. We're at 60 C on the core temperature now. Again, we're still at 99% there and 100% on that compute core. We've leveled off now to about almost 62 mega hash with those settings. We're still at about 180 watts. And we come back over here and we see the riser setting at 44.3, and we see that GPU setting at 101. So that's where we're at right now on a normal testing mining bench. Hopefully you guys like this one. Again, it was a real quick cursory test on the riser and the 12 volt power. And as more miners come out, we'll be doing some more testing. And if we can get a repeatable event of testing the two full threads on this card, like we had on the previous video, of course, I'll bring that to you guys. You guys hang out and I'll catch you guys on the next one.